and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a gear flat icon. We'll need a ellipse tool, hold control, go to a 45 degree angle and you've got a circle. I get rid of the fill by clicking on the X, then I hold shift and click on the black color to have a stroke. Go to object, fill and stroke, stroke style to adjust the size. We'll use 10 millimeters here, keep that in mind. We will create another circle. It has black fill, no stroke. Go to object, align and distribute, last selected, and I make sure it's in the center. It's crucial to have that second circle created now. I'll show you why later on. Now use the PCA tool. Hold control when you go to right and downwards to have straight lines. And we need the 10 millimeters again. Select it, then duplicate with a right click or control D. Go to object and flip horizontal. You can see that it snaps to the original because I've got the snapping enabled. Shift click on both, then go to path and union. But it's way too big, so I size that down. When you've got a size that you like, hold shift and click on the big circle on the outside and this element. Align it once more, but this time only vertically and go to path and union. Now we want to rotate that, so click on it again with the cursor tool. And now we want to snap this rotation center to the center of the small circle. So that's why we've created it before. So I only press Ctrl D and then I rotate that. I hold control when I rotate it so that it snaps to these angles. I want to have eight in total. I'll select it all. And I hold shift and click on the center, the small circle, go to path and union. Let me size the center one up a little bit. I hold shift and control when I do. Make sure to give it once again the 10 millimeters as a width. Let me drag some guides diagonally like this. If you can't see your rulers, press control R. Once again, they snap as long as snapping is enabled. Make sure you cover the inner circle. Get rid of the stroke, so hold shift and click on the X and then give it a fill. We need yet another circle, a big one. Just like something like this, give it a red color for now. Put it in the background. Make sure it's in the center, so select it all. This one looks like it is already in the center. So I found the correct spot and it snapped. Select the big red circle on the outside and the black element with a shift click, go to power and division. But you can see the circle was a little bit too big. So I press Ctrl Z. And I make the circle a little bit smaller. It has to be smaller than the black element. Once again, shift click on the circle and the black element, path and division. And now I've got this element created. That's what we wanted. And now we only have to play around with the colors. And we make sure the big red circle is in the background. And the former black element needs to be on top of that circle. And then I need the gear. I use this fill color wheel to play around with the colors. Make sure that you give the small inner circle, so this one and the former black element the same color. So shift click on it and you can use the color wheel. And that's it. Let us go to file, document properties, guides and delete the guides. And this is how you can create such a gear flat icon in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.